Hey guys, hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to take you to the gym and we are going to train upper body. We're gonna do a full upper body. We are going to hit biceps, triceps, lats, delts. If it involves the upper body, we are training it today. It is going to be a fire workout. We are having some pre-workout at the moment. Um, I don't think I've really spoken about pre-workout before, but it is an absolute staple in my uh, diet, especially when I train at 4 a.m. in the morning. Uh, it is super hard to get out of bed when it is winter and you're getting up that early. Anyway, this is not a sponsored um, video, but hey, if you guys wanna sponsor me, uh, this is the pre-workout I take. I've been having it for years now. Um, it's just from the Chemist Warehouse. It's a pre-workout that doesn't give you that itchy, tingly skin feeling. Um, I absolutely hate that, but this really does give me a boost of energy. I take it about five to 10 minutes before I leave home because it takes me about five to 10 minutes to get to the gym. And of course, as usual, when I train, I love to do um, 10 to 15 minutes of a warm up on the treadmill or the Stairmaster, whatever it may be. Today, we are going to do 10 minutes on the treadmill before we get into my upper body workout. Um, so this pre-workout, there are three different flavors. My favorite is the purple grape. There is also lime, which I don't like, and tropical, which is okay, but the purple um, grape is definitely my favorite. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. So like I said, we are going to do upper body today. It is going to burn. You are going to love it though, I promise. Um, anyway, so without further ado, let's get to the gym before I ramble some more and my shoulder falls off from holding this camera and we won't even be able to lift weights. <laughs> um, but if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps support my channel and it lets me know the kinds of videos you guys like to see. So without further ado, let's get to the gym. We're kickstarting this workout with a superset. You want to grab a straight bar and some lighter dumbbells. We're going to kick off with 10 to 12 reps of upright rows with the straight bar. You want to keep your shoulders relaxed and chest out, holding the bar with your palms facing down. Bring the bar up and towards your chin and then back down. Then we're going to move into some lateral raises. So you wanna switch the bar for some dumbbells. You want them to be a little bit lighter so you're able to do this move for 10 to 12 reps. Keep your core nice and tight as you bring the weights up and out to the side and then straight back down. Repeat this for three sets. Here we are going to do six single arm shoulder presses and then move straight into six double shoulder presses for three sets. We're going to grab some dumbbells, bringing both arms up into right angles and press up with one arm, keeping the other in the right angle position. Repeat that on the other arm and then followed with six double presses. So that means bringing both hands up into the air and then back down into that right angle. Now moving onto the cable machine with the straight bar attachment, we're going to hit Start hitting some back and triceps with this fun little exercise. We're targeting the lats here with the front pull down. Keeping your elbows right where they are, we are going to release the forearms for a tricep press. Release all the way back down and then into the lat pull down again. Keeping the tension throughout the moves, again for 10 to 12 reps and three sets. Time to hit some biceps. Grab a weight that is comfortable for you. I'm going to be using the straight bar here. We're going to do a bicep curl into a bicep drag. Keep your elbows pinched at your sides, really focusing on using your biceps here. For the drag curl, you want to drag the bar across your chest, bringing your elbows back towards the back of you for 10 to 12 reps and three sets.
This is going to be a tri set. Do eight to 10 reps for each move with three sets total. First, we have the close grip chest press with the plate. You want to hold the plate above your chest and press it into the air. Keep your elbows pinched at your sides. Switching to the dumbbell for some dumbbell chest presses. Bring your elbows out and press the dumbbells up and back down to a near right angle after eight to 10 reps. You're going to turn your grip so that your palms are facing inward for some flies. You want to create a slight bend in your arms. Squeeze your um, core nice and tight as the dumbbells are going to want to pull you down and off the bench um, as you bring your arms out to the side and back into the center. And that completes the workout. Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm back home. Um, I just walked in the door. Brooklyn must be so tired. She hasn't even moved since I got home. She obviously doesn't care that I'm home. She clearly didn't miss me. Um, I have the blinds open in the lounge room and she's found the only bit of sun uh, through the curtain, so she must be cold. Um, French Bulldogs have a really hard time regulating their body temperature. Anyway, that's beside the point. I just want to show you a little bit of footage of her. She's so cute. She's curled up in a little ball. Hey, baby girl. You sleeping? You having a little nap? You didn't even care that I came home. Hey. Sorry if the camera's shaking. My shoulders are burning from that workout. It was really good though. Anyway, I ended up doing seven minutes on the treadmill. I did an incline of three with a speed of 6.7, I think it was. Um, that's kilometers. That's how our treadmills are in Australia because we go by kilometers. Anyway, um, I'm going to end this video here because all I'm doing today is rambling. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.